Hello people, this is Self Turds and we are continuing our series on Vagrant for Beginners and in this video we'll see how to set the number of CPUs for your Vagrant virtual machine. So CPU is the most important part for any computer system. It is the central uh, processing unit which means all the instructions are being processed inside your CPU. In older days there was a single CPU with a single core. So a single instruction was executed at a particular instance of time. So if there is one core, it means only one instruction will be executed at once, not more than one. But the amount of instruction that is being executed at a particular second is in billions. So what happens? It gives us a feeling that more than one instruction is being executed at a single instance. But you have to keep in mind that if there is a single core CPU, it means that only one instruction will be executed at a particular instance. Now in modern days, there are multi-core system like uh, dual core, quad core. See, so inside a quad core system, what happens? There is a single CPU with multiple cores, which means each core can execute a single instance at a particular time, which means that for this particular computer, at a particular instance, four instructions are being executed by these cores which means one for this one for this one for this and one for this so at a particular instance if we see then four instructions are being executed so this system will be more fast than this because the number of instruction being executed is more than this one so it's very important to set the number of cores in your virtual machine so suppose your your host machine is is having four core is having four cores but you are using only one core in your Vagrant machine, then your Vagrant machine will be slow. So generally, by default, the configuration for the Vagrant virtual machine is to use single core. So we can change that. So you can see that how many CPUs are being used in your Vagrant machine by using this command for your Linux Vagrant machine. So I'm using a CentOS Vagrant machine, which is a flavor of Linux, so I can fire that command and I can see that what is the number of CPU that I'm using. So I'll fire that command cat then proc and then CPU info. So I'm inside my Vagrant box and this is CentOS which is a Linux flavor. So I'll fire this command and it will give me the details about my virtual machine. So you can see that the CPU cores being used is one but the number of core that my host machine is having is four. So I'm using only a single core so my a processing power of this virtual machine will be slow. So how to increase the number of cores for my virtual machine? So I have to do a configuration and that configuration is here vb.cpus and we have to give the number of CPU that we want to use. Again, this is a provider level configuration. So I have to write this inside my config.vm.provider and I'm using virtual box as my provider. So I'm using this virtual box. So all the CPU memory related configuration goes inside the uh, goes inside the provider section. So I'll go to my virtual box and I'll do a exit. So I'm exiting it that I, I have made SSH uh, connection to it using Vagrant SSH and now I'm inside my host machine. So this folder sent to a seven is present inside my host machine. I'll do a clear uh, so that everything is visible. And if I'll do list of files, then it is sh showing me Vagrant file. So I'll open this Vagrant file and you can see that I'm already having this configuration. In previous video, we have done the uh, memory configuration by using vb.memory. So this provider section is present here. Now what I'll do, I will type vb.cpus and I'll use all my four CPUs. So what I'll, I have written, I'll check my configuration that is vb.cpus and the CPU count is four. So what I'll do, I will write and quit this file and I'll do a Vagrant reload. So Vagrant reload is important because when you do changes in your Vagrant file, it means you are changing some configuration and to make that uh, changes applicable to your virtual machine, you have to reload your system. So while reloading, the Vagrant reads this configuration file that is Vagrant file and applies those changes to your virtual machine. So what it does, it first shut down the machine that is it is attempting to do a graceful shutdown and then again it is firing the same command vagrant up by default means uh, internally. 
so the vagrant up command is again fired and it is clearing the uh, forwarded ports it is doing the adapter configuration for my network it is doing the ssh configuration the ssh username is vagrant which we have seen previously also and it is booting my vm so it is checking other configuration and the machine is booted and ready and now I, it is up and running so i'll go inside my vagrant machine by using vagrant ssh and it will take me to my vagrant machine i'll do a clear so that everything is uh, clearly visible again i'll see my cpu information that is cat proc and then cpu info so this time you can see the cpu cores are four so at currently i'm using four cores so previously we have seen that by default it was using only one core and now it is using four cores so i have changed the configuration in my vagrant file as this one and it has successfully been implemented so this was all about how to set the number of cpu or the number of cpu cores in your vagrant machine and if you like this video then please give a thumbs up and if you like my channel then please subscribe to it thank you